Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. All right, so this video is gonna be about the build quality on my 2023 Tesla Model 3 Performance. Now I've seen other videos of this done before, I've seen people do this video, and I've seen, you know, quality issues. And, you know, I, from the beginning, I told them my, my delivery video, I said, I'm not gonna inspect this, you know, measure every um, door jam and, you know, gap, panel gap to see if something was off. But from, you know, right from the beginning, beginning, just a quick walkthrough, I didn't see anything that stuck out. Now it's been um, about three, four months with the car, I have 4,000 miles on it. And, you know, of course I'm, I'm walking, I'm seeing some things. So let's go over things now. Hey everybody, my name is Eddie. If you're new to the channel, um, I do a lot of car stuff. It's not just Tesla, but Tesla is also something I do. I uh, also have some BMW content and I do some car reviews, uh, product reviews and DIY, DIYs. So be sure to check my other videos out and if you like what you see, consider a uh, subscription. All right, so quick walk around. I don't see much. And I'm gonna tell you from the beginning, this car, compared to what I've seen from other cars, even on a lot, and I've got some used ones, um, I would say I got a good one. And this could be a, you know, maybe Tesla's build quality is turning around or I just got lucky. Let me know in the comments what you think. So one thing I noticed people check are the headlights to see the gap. Now I have a black car, you're, but from the beginning it looks like it is pretty good. Um, I don't see any huge gaps. It looks uniform all the way around. Even here, uh, nothing sticks out. Um, going around the front, it seems even. Uh, go around to the other headlight. It completely uniform. I mean, nothing, I don't see any bulges, nothing sticking out. Especially when you're comparing it to, you know, the other panels. Another thing that people check, I see common is these uh, connections where the, the doors line up. Um, I guess the door frames, I just, well, I just don't have door frames, but the bottom, the doors, I'm gonna let you look and tell you the gaps and I'll let you know my things that I have spotted so far. Let's see the doors, this seems even. It's a slight misalign right there, but I mean, to me, that's, I, I can't be picky about that. Um, here, I feel like this gap is a little bit bigger. I don't know, but I just noticed this gap bigger. I feel like that door sticks out ever so slightly. It's just, it's just really hard to, to say. But you can see how it, when it, when it's, it's not 100% flush. Now, I'll see other people with the door handles. Door handles aren't flush. My door handles are. Um, I just put an Expel PPF um, on the door handle, so it gives it that gloss look that blends in with the rest of the car. Another thing people talk about is the trunk alignment, and I've seen some Model Ys that had misalignments here. Um, but everything looks pretty good. Even the light lines up. I know that sometimes people talk about the lights aren't, are mismatched, but you can see here, they line up pretty well. Even right here, there's not a gap that's going around here that it gets tight anywhere else. The gaps seem uniform. Um, I will tell you one thing is minor for me. The dual motor badge is to me, 
slightly crooked. But that's not worth, I mean, I could easily pull it off and get a new one or fix it myself. Um, everything else, carbon fiber spoiler, people talk about that if you have performance models, um, you know, especially lifting on the edges. I don't see anything really, I mean, that's just, that's so minor. I won't call it lifting because the gap runs consistent across the whole spoiler. Let's check the other side of the trunk here. The gap's pretty consistent. Um, we can just open it. Yep, everything looks consistent on here. You know, let me know if you have a 2023 Tesla Model 3. Um, this was built also in 2023. Uh, so let me know what you have. Um, if your car is pretty consistent with this. Come over here, this door does have this almost a similar gap, but it doesn't um, seem to stick out as much on like the other, like the passenger side does. Uh, but my driver's door looks like it does ever so slightly. So I don't know how, like, is such a minor thing. The alignment, the door is where I would see right there. So, so far, a couple of little doors, a couple of little uh, small alignment issues that have been See, this is pretty, this is the same. Um, I've seen issues with the glass, the two seams on the glass where they don't line up. And this one looks pretty good. All right, let's move into the interior. Let me turn off the climate control. Um, everything else the same. I will tell you, I have no rattle, no squeaks or rattles in this car. Um, you can hear it, there's a small little echo in here, but other than that, um, I think just the, the acoustics and from the glass ceiling. Um, from the top here, it looks pretty good. There's only one little minor thing. I mean, I can't tell you if it's a Tesla thing or if it's something that's happened with my particular car because I did have the rear the windows tenant right away. And I think windows tenant, they got to pull off these uh, panels. I'm going to show you the other side. So this right here, I don't know if that was something from the tent people when they had to pull out these panels or if they did pull out the panels, I, I just not, I'm not sure. Um, it'd be hard for me to obviously to go back to Tesla and say, hey, look, this is what's going on, especially since I took this car right away to get the windows uh, tinted. But everything else looks good. Um, no issues. I'm really impressed with the space of this car so far. I mean, everything, I mean, I mean, this is pretty good legroom, and even the front seat has a lot of legroom. All right. Only interior thing that I've really kind of bummed about, and I know it wasn't me, but I can't prove it because this happened after the fact, is right there. I saw this right here in the seat. So. Very unfortunate. I'm surprised, you know, they, they, they rave how durable these seats are. 
Um, and I don't know how or when that happened. And I said, maybe I overlooked it. Maybe I thought it was dirt. And I'd actually, I did thought it was dirt at first. And I was remember coating the seats. And I was trying to get that, that spot off. And I realized, uh, yeah, this is not dirt. But, yeah. Um, other than that, I mean, the car is great. 4,000 miles. It's probably, I've had a lot of commuter cars. I had some fun commuter cars. And this one has to be the best one. For one, being electric. Number two, being as quick as it is from uh, zero to 60. There's not a single gasoline car that's gonna be able to just to take off just as fast as this thing does. And the fact that it's efficient. Um, even the performance model, I know people talk about the performance models aren't uh, efficient, but let's just go over real quick. I'm gonna show you that some of my, my stats here. Sorry, I'm going a little off topic here. Let's see, trips. And since my last charge, and I was probably traveling about 80, 85 miles an hour, 277 uh, watt hours a mile. All right. I have another trip in here where I was actually set to cruise control at 65 miles an hour. 68, I think, was my max speed. Uh, I had a cruise with 68 for my 40 mile commute home and I got uh, 240 uh, watt hours a mile. Okay. That's with these 20 inch wheels. Um, and of course, you know, I don't know what makes the performance a performance because essentially it should be the same battery um, as the non-performance, like the long range. Right. So, when you're cruising, what makes it a performance other than the wheels? It's really not. So those who are considering getting a performance and say, you know, I don't know if I need the zero to 60 time. If you don't think you need it, then don't buy it. You'd be perfectly fine with the long range because long range is still a four second zero to 60. You'll be fast enough for anything else, even in, you know, but however, if you're saying, you know what, I might have regrets. I'm like, I, I want the extra power. I'm a power junkie. Go ahead and get it because this will not disappoint you. There is nothing out there that's going to make me. I would never say, you know, this car is slow from from a, from a standstill. Now I will tell you, from a highway speed, it feels like my Lexus ISF. Maybe maybe a little bit slower. It's hard to tell, but from from, from highway speeds, from like I said, I say highway speeds. If I need to overtake someone at seven miles an hour and pass the slow moving driver on the on the left lane, hog. Now I would say from zero to 60 is impressive but when you're rolling obviously this right here is going to be the highway roll this right here is where i feel it is it, strong and this is where it, the tables turn it's enough i don't think that i'm going to complain with this because i feel like it's still enough for me to especially a left lane hog that's you know hogging the left lane that's going 65 miles an hour i have way more than the power to fly around them before they know it the, the torque hit is instant, is, is immediate. You're not waiting for a transmission to kick down. But anyway, I'm getting off topic here. Uh, this is just the build quality of my 2023 Tesla Model 3. Let me know if you have Tesla and what your build quality is like. I'm curious. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching.